Hey guys, this is The Card Collector, and today we are doing the $50 Walmart Challenge. If you don't know what that is, well, sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and, well, sit back, relax, and you can watch this. So, I go into Walmart and spend $50, and I have three rules that I have to follow. So, rule number one, I have to spend a minimum of $50. That's right, so I have to go with the mindset I'm going in, spending $50 of my hard-earned money to go and buy some Walmart stuff. Retail, product, packs, anything that's, I can buy anything that's hockey related, but it has to be under 50 bucks. Number two, it has to be purchased only at Walmart. I cannot go to my card store. I cannot go to the Dollarama to buy cards. Only at Walmart. I can only purchase the stuff at Walmart. And rule number three, it cannot exceed more than $50. So it's $50 and two cents, that's fine. $50 and 30 cents, that's okay. But if it's $51, that is a no-go. I have to put something back, but it has to be around the $50 mark. So guys, I'm going to take you on a little journey to my Walmart to see what they have on the shelves. Maybe there's something else you guys would have picked up. Let me know in the comments. So here we go. Let's head into the Walmart. Let's see what there is. So we're going to start in the front of the Walmart. You can see that this store is absolutely cleaned out. There is some baseball, some football. There is a blaster of SB Retail. A lot of TCG gaming. But you can see there is some football, some lower end football. Nothing that I really want to open. But this really intrigued me. There are some packaged MJ Holding, but it is 2017. So I didn't really think about grabbing it. If there is nothing in the back of the store, we're going to grab that. Taking another gander at it, decided, you know, I'll take my luck at the back of the store. So let's go in the back and check her out and see what there is. So we're in the back of the store and it does look like there is product on the shelf. A lot of 2019, 20 and 2021 series one boxes. But you can see that there is product to choose from. There is some baseball not big into the baseball discounted. There's more SP retail. A lot of good stuff. So I decided to buy some 1718 CHL. You don't find that in my Walmart very often. Usually the scalpers pick that up. That kind of intrigued me. A 2018-19 pack of cards. Of course, everybody's looking for Pedersen. So we end up in the Pokemon TCG gaming area just to see if maybe someone decided to leave something. There was a toy truck. So it's been cleaned out. This area, scalpers have been in. All the hidden fates gone. All the Pokemon has been gone. But let's go home and I will show you what I picked up. Well, guys, that was my Walmart. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's go through what I picked up. So first off, we picked up a sealed pack of 2020-21. Of course, we're looking for Lafreniere. This pack was $4.99. With tax, it was $5.23. Pretty big risk for a sealed pack of retail, but that's okay. The next thing I got, guys, this is something I have never found in my area. We got a sealed Series 1 binder, all this good stuff, and this was $17.99 on sale. This is last year's product. $17.99 with tax, $18.88. But look at what it comes with. One trading card, binder, three hot packs, one exclusive sophomore sensations. Look at this. One poster. I have never found this in my area. I know they're on Zephyr Epic. So let's hopefully we do get something good in there. So for $18.88, that's pretty good. And the thing I was surprised that they actually had was they have 2017-18 CHL. This is on sale instead of $32, it's $24.92. Like, what kind of, I don't mind that. So, this is $24.92 equals, with taxes, $26.19. Of course, I had to get this. Let's uh, open all this stuff up. So, our grand total is $50.30 exactly. So, hope you guys subscribe. We're doing the sealed pack first. I'm going to guess base. And looks like base. Beautiful. We're going to set that aside. We're going to set that right there. 
we're gonna open the top tip or top of this so hopefully we do get something good in this binder i am praying that uh that we actually do get something good so we'll peel off everything we'll take a look and see what we got so we'll move this over to the side so again you get one trading card that holds 250 cards for the set that's pretty cool three hot packs one exclusive sophomore sensa uh, sensation card one poster and one trading card collector's guide i have never opened this before they are not found in my area very much so let's see what we got here try to dump some stuff out here all right so we did get a binder pretty nice binder there's flurry stamkos mckinnon all 50 nhl team or blah, 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 all whatever 30 31 nhl teams whatever it was back then there yeah, there's packs the poster i will pop up a photo of it it's too big to fit on screen it's a big poster I'm surprised about that and you get the guide with one unprotected card and that is Pedersen. beautiful beautiful card so that can be our hit hockey card trading guide let's see what they got here congrats there you go you're becoming an expert if you don't uh, spend a thousand dollars a month on hockey cards or boxes and lose eh, you're, you're an amateur no i was just joking but there you go blasters collectible tins Upper Deck Series 1, getting started. Wow, a lot of different stuff that, uh, that's a, interesting stuff in here. Have that card, artifacts of $9.99. There we go, that's pretty cool. Carry Price autograph card, all 2019 SP artifacts. Sorry, SP Authentic artifacts is over there. Series 1, Upper Deck Series 2. There you go, and there goes the definition. I was hoping that they would have these. Acetate base card, booklet, box break, cut autograph, game use card. There you go. I may just give this to a local kid. He collects cards. Well, maybe he can uh, learn something from it. There's a set, a short print, sticker or label card, a patch card. And, of course, if you like Upper Deck that much, go and follow them. Look at that. They do blogs, videos. Some reason they're on Pinterest. There we go. Beautiful. And we did get three packs. That is uh, pretty awesome. Cool. All right. Toss that away. Open up the first pack here. Of course. There we go. All right. These hot packs better have uh, at least a young gun in it. Moen Simon, Caspery, Kapanen, Jones. Uh huh. How hot are these packs if you don't get a insert or you don't even get an insert in them? Next, Fasca. Ooh, first hit. Portraits. There we go. There's our hot, hot pack. Gotta love that hot pack. Usually, the only reason I got this is because it said hot pack. I thought, you know what, maybe this is a chance that we're going to get a nice autograph or a nice jersey card or maybe a young gun. Oh, there we go. There's our first young gun out of a hot pack. Bergman. There we go. So, I don't know if I classify that as hot packs, but we'll just say there, there were some packs in that. Perfect. Beautiful 2019-20. Next, we got a CHL. This is some stuff that never pops up in my area. Didn't even know they were selling this. But before I get started, let's take a look at this. You get 10 cards per pack, 8 packs per box. My math is right. You're going to get 80 cards of the CHL. And you can see there is Suzuki and the Detroit guy. I can't remember his name at the moment. Don't shoot me. All right. Okay, let's see what we get here. I do not remember opening a lot of 2017-18 CHL stuff. But um, maybe I did, and I just forgot about it. That is a possibility. 
So let's see what we get here. Probably a lot of these guys never made the NHL. So let's see what we got here. We got an Abramov, played for Ottawa, WHL. Nicholas Haig, played for the Knights. Velarde, huh? It's one of the best rookies this year. Rookie, Byram. Too bad that wasn't autographed. That would have been a nice uh, hit right there. And Barrett Hayden. Very nice. Don't mind CHL stuff. There you go, Barrett Hayden. Captain Canada. He won the Olympic, or won the World Junior Gold. Kale Fleury. Probably going to be their number, top, probably top three to top four defensemen. Logan Stanley. Jack Kopeka. There's probably a lot of these guys that never made the NHL. Uh, Gabriel. I'm just going to take a stab at a Fortier. Rookie. And we get a red rookie. There you go, of the Ottawa 67ers. Antropov, Brad Davis. Actually went to Red Deer. Very cool. Never heard a lot of these guys, but... Uh, you know what? It would be awesome if we actually do pull a nice autograph. There's Alexi Hep Niami. Hep or Hep on Niami played for uh, Swift Current. Had a crazy season. All right, Evan Bouchard, Oilers. Jaden Hel Halberwitz. Josh Brooks, Montreal system. Brandon Hagel. There you go, Chicago. If you are a Chicago fan, he is on your ta taxi squad. David Le Levine. Liam Kindry. Don't know much uh, about him. That's pretty cool. And we got a Dylan Wells. Red. If I go back to my Walmart, maybe I'll buy another one of these. 2017-18. So no laugh for near yet. But I'm guessing the, probably the chance of pulling him are very slim to none. So let's see here. Parker Kelly. Played for Ottawa. There you go. Drake Batherson. Now left Ottawa, I believe. Maybe not. Kyle Olsen. Brandon DeJong. St. Louis. Or no, San Jose. Something like that. Nico, uh, Nico Gross. Gross. That's pretty cool. Huh, from Switzerland. Heard of them before. Felix Robert, Landry, and Zakar. You know, this stuff is pretty fun. If I buy, uh, or if I go back to Walmart, I'm going to go and uh, pick up another box of this. This seems like it's a bunch of stuff. Brady Gilmore, Matthew Strom, younger brothers of the Strom brothers, Alexander Allen, Blake Murray. Pretty cool. And we got a Barrett Hayden. There you go. Red. Mm-hmm. Gravel. All right. So three packs left. I don't know if we're actually going to pull uh, a Lafreniere, but, you know, this is some fun stuff, especially going back and looking. Giovanni Smith. There you go. Elijah Brown. Madison High Tiger. Trent Fox. Cole Fonstad. Uh, Leobor Hajik. Played for Saskatoon. Now, uh... Was a rookie last year. I actually did pull his... I pulled his ultimate rookie. All right. Cameron Hillis, rookie. Tyler, yeah, and Hardy. Cool stuff. Three or two packs left. If you guys enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button. That pack just broke into pieces. Tyler Benson, now playing for the Oilers. Pretty cool. Griffin Outhouse was one of the best on uh, Victoria Royals. He had crazy, like, I remember him. He played, got to be like 10 years. Matthew Phillips, now playing for Calgary. Isaac Johnson, I believe was the captain one year in uh, Tri-City, if I'm not mistaken. There's a star rookie. McLeod, Blitzfeld playing for San Jose. His rookie just came out. Was it this year or last year? Can't remember. Played a young gun though. Riley Stillman. 
Ryan Merkley. Everybody knows him with his uh, little uh, attitude problem. I don't, minus 41. That is uh, not good. There you go. Cheney. Payton Krebs. There two guys that played on Team Canada. And that guy from Quebec. All right. If you guys need any CHL base, let me know. All right. Well, that was some fun. So let's go through the hits. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. We got a Peyton Krebs rookie. Not bad. Isaac Johnson. Barrett Hayden. Blake Mur uh, Murray. Dylan Wells. Kendry. And Byram. That's pretty cool. You get two guys that played for Team Canada. I don't know if that was a warp to it, but Bergman, we at least pulled a young gun. But guys, thanks for tuning in to Walmart special. That's it. Have a good day. Have a good night. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. If you didn't, well, hit that subscribe button. I'm out. You will see me this week with a mail day. All right, guys. I'm out.